everyone. Today I will be showing you how to make a sparkly snowflake Christmas card that would be great to give a friend or family member over the holidays. Also, if you would like to join in on Crafty December and make a card from December 1st to the 25th, then use the hashtag Crafty December on Twitter and Instagram so I can see your wonderful creations. For this Christmas snowflake card, I started off by working on the background. I cut some white cardstock that was just slightly smaller than the card base size I had in my head. I then stamped some trees onto the cardstock using some Versafun Onyx black ink. When stamping some of the trees, they didn't stamp fully, so I ended up using my black Sharpie pen to fill in the areas that weren't stamped. Once the trees were stamped, I decided to add some snowflakes between the trees to help fill in some of the white space. I stamped the snowflakes using the color box blue ink. Following the background being completed, I set it aside and started cutting some snowflakes from the Winter Frolic cartridge. The cartridge doesn't come with a page of just snowflakes, so I found one that went on another image. Once I found the snowflake I wanted for my card, I cut them out onto some blue sparkly paper. After the snowflakes were cut out, I grabbed my background and laid them on top to see where I wanted them to go. Once I found out where I wanted the snowflakes to go, I then popped them up with some foam tape to help them stand out and give them some added dimension. Following the snowflakes being attached to the background, I thought they looked a little plain, so I looked through my stash and found some stars that worked perfectly in the middle. I attached them to the middle of the snowflakes using some glossy accents. I chose to use the glossy accents because it worked well on the sparkly paper and it helped everything adhere. Once all the stars were attached, I set the background aside. 
Roll the card base, I folded some white cardstock in half, and then trimmed it down to the size I wanted using my Fiskars paper trimmer. I then attached a green snowflake background to the card base to help tie it together with the other snowflakes I was using. After the green background was added, I then grabbed my other background and flipped it over and used my ATG tape on it to adhere it to the card base. Thinking about it now, I should have attached it to the card base first before I added the snowflakes because it made it a little challenging for adding the tape to the back. The last thing I added to the card was the ribbon. I used my white ribbon and made a little bow at the top of the card. To help the bow not move around and accidentally come undone, I attached it to the top with my zig to a glue pen and pushed it down with my fingers to help it adhere, and then thought my card front looked complete. Thanks for watching, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Also tune in tomorrow for another Christmas themed card.